Hi, welcome to another episode of MYD Global. I'm your host, Leanne Hackman Carty. I love being able to highlight people who are making a difference, especially when it comes to issues related to disasters like food insecurity. In this episode, I'm speaking with Leia Lizarondo. Leia has an innovative technology that is helping partner food waste with people, charities that are needing food. And so stay tuned as I talk to Leia about what she's doing in the whole area of food rescue and the organizations that she has founded. One of her goals is to make sure that she has 100 cities on board. So stay tuned, maybe your city can be next. Hi Leah, how are you doing today? Good, Leanne. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So before we get started, could you please tell the viewers just a little bit about your background? Yeah. So my name is Leah Lizarondo. Um, I am um, the founder of a technology platform called Food Rescue Hero and a nonprofit called the 412 Food Rescue, obviously both in the food waste and food recovery business. I grew up in the Philippines and uh, moved to New York City as an adult um, after college um, and started my career at Kobe Palmolive um, in brand management and then went to graduate school at Carnegie Mellon here in Pittsburgh and stayed in Pittsburgh and has since worked in technology and food and born to food rescue is kind of and food rescue hero is the merging of both of those passions. So Leah, tell me a little bit about why you got involved in this whole area in the beginning. Yeah, so really the genesis of these two projects began um, in 2012 when um, the National Resources Defense Council here in the U.S. released a report called Wasted. And really, you know, I think to this day, that's one of the NRDC's most downloaded reports. And that was the first report that I came across, and most people as well, um, that, you know, that gave awareness to the fact that while we all know we waste food, we don't have any idea of the magnitude of um, food waste that we have, which is 40% of food in the United States and in, in developing countries, I mean, in developed countries. So it's, you know, it's almost half our food supply. And then, you know, when you look at the other side of that, where so many are food insecure, it's such a clear disconnect. And during that time, you know, all these ride share services have started surfacing. And, you know, I remember um, shortly after telling a friend of mine, uh, who is now the head of our engineering, actually, you know, and he was developing apps at that time. And I said, hey, Amish, I have this idea for an app. But it never really, you know, I was working somewhere else. It was just a vague idea. And it wasn't until in 2015, um, when I got together with a group of women and a ragtag group of software developers um, to kind of begin this process of experimenting, you know, is it possible to scale, you know, food recovery from, you know, getting food from retailers, of which there are hundreds of thousands, right? There's, I think the last count, there's 600,000 restaurants in the U.S. alone you know, to charities, NGOs, and nonprofits that serve um, populations in poverty. And, and the only way to really do that is, you know, through mobilizing a network of drivers in the same way that, you know, Uber Eats and DoorDash and all of these services mobilize theirs. And so is that part of your program? It's you've got drivers, you've got restaurants that sign up, like how exactly does the program work? So the Food Rescue Hero platform is, is exactly that. You know, I always say, so Fast Company um, recognized us with the World Changing Ideas Award this year. Um, and, you know, and, and, and they called us the DoorDash of food recovery. So the app works exactly the same way as, you know, a DoorDash driver or one, a commercial food delivery service would use um, the app. So our drivers, all of whom are volunteers, which I think is the best part of this, um, download the Food Rescue Hero app, and then they get alerts and push notifications of food rescues that are available all throughout the day. And at some point, they'll see one that's near them, and they can opt to take it and deliver it to, to a nonprofit or charity that it's matched to. Most of our rescues take half an hour to complete. Um, and, you know, in the last six, um, in the last five years, since 2016, um, when we released the app, 
um, we have um, processed about a quarter of a million trips and um, redirected 28 million pounds of food in seven cities in the U.S. and Canada. Wow. And so do, how do you fund it? I mean, if the, they're volunteers and this food is being donated, how, how do you run, run the organization? Yes, yeah, so we are a nonprofit. Um, both organizations are nonprofits. Food Rescue Hero is a nonprofit technology company. And for one to Food Rescue, which is a food rescue organization that operates in the Pittsburgh region where the app was first piloted, um, is a nonprofit. So we are funded by philanthropy and the generosity of, you know, the individuals and our corporate partners um, that, you know, that make sure that this, this um, program um, is sustainable. So you have, as far as how many cities or locations in the U.S. do you operate? So we're currently in six cities in the U.S., um, soon to be eight. Um, and then we are in one city in Canada, and we're in Vancouver. Okay. And so how would, say, someone's interested in getting access to the app or getting the app, this, this program, into their community, how would they go about doing that? Yes. So if you are a nonprofit that works in hunger relief or in food recovery, there's many nonprofits that work in food recovery, um, but are doing it in, I would say, analog way. Um, and you want to, um, you know, share this platform that, that um, these other nonprofits are using, just reach out to us. Um, our goal is to be able to support 100 cities in 10 years by 2030. Um, kind of tracking with the United States Sustainable Development Goals. And um, we are looking for partners all over the world. Well, that's great. Well, and I will put a link on, on this video so people can connect with your organization and hopefully we can help you get to that goal of 100 cities. Uh, yeah. It's Thank awesome you. what you're doing because really when you think of so many people, it's, it's, our system seems broken sometimes on the supply chain, right? I mean, there's all this food here, yet there's all these people that are hungry and to be able to match them, to be able to, to put those two together is, is phenomenal. So, right, um, right. Yeah. So I'm not the first to say that, you know, much of food insecurity is, you know, on hunger relief is not a supply problem. We have the food out there. It's really a distribution challenge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So before we wrap up, is there anything else that you wanted to mention that perhaps I didn't ask about? No, we are, you know, we are looking for partners again. Thank you for, for Leanne for helping us spread the word. Um, and uh, info at um, foodrescuehero.org um, or um, go to our website, foodrescuehero.org and reach out to us and we'll work together. That's great. Well, thanks again, Leah, and all the best. Thank you. Thank you.